at number 135 Adetola Agoda Surulere. I joined Chusi in 2004, and I want to thank God for his genuine salvation. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chusi. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I also want to thank God for what he has done for me. I came to Lagos empty-handed, hmm. but God of Chusi has blessed me. Now, by the grace of God, in my village, I have two-story building hmm. and landed property in Owere. Thank Here you. in Lagos, I have houses and landed property. Hmm. I want to appreciate the grace God of Chusi for what he has done for me. Houses and landed property. I just want to summarize it. Brethren, this God of Chusi has blessed me. And when I travel last three years, you know, normally I used to encourage my home branch. And when I travel, one of the occasion, they were watching me under uncomfortable building, and the owner died. So the wife started embarrassing the pastor there. When I came across there, I was annoyed. I said to the pastor, please get a place. Let us uh, find a land and build. So I, I told him this and I left. In less than one month, I came back to Lagos. He called me and I found a place. I traveled back and I paid for that place. And by the grace of God, I said, okay, let me go and come and relax. Before I knew it, the pastor called me that uh, he had started, you know, play, building blocks. I said, how come? He said that somebody gave that shit money, about 51,000. So he used to build blocks. So I was annoyed. I said, how can this person do this kind of thing? So I went to relax. I now have to travel back again. By the grace of God, I started building that house. And by this time I have finished it, we are just at the, you know, wiring. So I want to thank this God of Jesus for helping me for buying land and be able to build it in my village. Oh, and now my grant is worshiping there. Clap the Lord. to God of Jesus. What a noble act. Noble gesture. Thank you, Lord. Chosen, thank praise you. the Lord. Hallelujah. And my last testimony on December 24th. I wanted to stay back for December retreat. But because I have a friend who has stayed with me in the house, who spotted me. For three years in his house, the, the father died, and they are, they are having a burial. So I said, "Okay, let me travel so I can come back for more Lagos experience." So we travel with my family on 24th, getting to Imo State in my in my local went all I packed to buy water, and uh, I was blocked, and the kidnappers they accosted dot and they took me and my wife away. Hmm. Just to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happened that. When they stopped, they, they, they blocked, I thought they were security men. And now I followed them. I said, what is it? They were pushing into their car. Before I knew, they brought my wife into the car. They want to drive my car, but they couldn't. They now left the car with my kids inside the car. I was like confused. I couldn't declare who I am. I was like confused. I thought they were security men. Until they, they begin to ask. They now asked my wife her ATM. They took her ATM away. They took her purse. And then they left. They dropped her and asked her to go and take care of the baby. And then they took me away. They tied me hands and feet. They kept me in an uncomfortable building. I was there with them throughout that night. I was confused. Now, at the midnight, it came to me and to my mind that you are a teacher. I have not declared who you are. I was not asking God for God of Jesus for mercy. I said, God, have mercy upon me and deliver me. I was asking for this mercy. In the midnight, I slept off. I saw myself coming out of police's cell where I was bed out. When I woke up, I discovered I'm, I'm still in that uh, dungeon where they kept me. My hands, my legs were tied, and my eyes. And now I hear them snoring. When I open my eyes, three of them guiding me with their gun and their machetes. They were lying down beside me, they were snoring. Hmm. I wanted to escape. One of them woke up. And then I don't know what to do. But I said, God help me. The man looked towards me. He now lied down again. For me to check. The rope they used to tie my leg and my hands. I discovered that God of Jesus already loosed it. Hey! It didn't was loose by itself. Hey! Because this rope in my hand, it gave me injury that my hand was stiff. And then when I look at it, it was started bleeding. But when I woke up, I wanted to walk step out. I thought this rope are loose by itself. Likewise, my legs are loose. Hmm. Then I wanted to sneak away. They woke up, they chased after me. I ran towards the door, they chased after me, and then they hold me. I was, oh, God have me so upon me. They said, so you want this? I said, no, I wanted to urinate. They slapped me. Then one of them reached out for matches. And my spirit told me that do something. I now jumped the window. I didn't know that they kept me where they came to a two-story building. When I jumped the window, they grabbed my leg. I fell off the other side. They were dragging me in. I was dragging myself. On the process, the one that had the matches, the matches he had on his hand, 
fell on me. I don't know how it happened, but the thing was like a mystery. The man was holding the cutlass on his hand. They were trying to drag me inside, inside the room, inside the window. While I was dragging myself out, the matches fell off his hand, and it fell on my body. And I used it, I was flinging it. They were dodging, and I fell off their hand, and I fell from that two-story building. And I started running, I couldn't run again. I saw that my leg had dislocated. But this God of Jesus was so merciful. Out of his mercy, because I made a mistake when I did make my declaration earlier. But this God of Jesus kept me, he sustained me. I was able to scare about four different fences. And at the end, I got a check in port where the police people, they came and they helped me. And that place was Mbudi. That was what they kept me. And the police people said, ah, how come that day? these people were operating near their police station, at Mbudi police, police station there? So I want to thank this very God of Jesus who had kept me alive, who saved me and my family. My wife was sustained, my children. At the end of the day, not happened to us. I want to thank this God of Jesus who have done this for me. I say, may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say, my pastor, this God who I called you, may he go to protect you and your family in Jesus' name. Amen. And for all of us choosing, I say, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, I am happy you confess that you made a mistake you did not declare who you are which is really the issue please i would like everyone to listen again our pastor the general Vasya, has passed a standing decree for choosing people for worshipers in choosing he said once you sense any danger it doesn't matter whether it's police or army and you are not comfortable you are sensing he said you should declare who you are Tell them, I am a choosing, I am a choosing, I am a choosing. And ask the danger, who are you? He said, don't be afraid, look them eyeball to eyeball. He said, something will happen. And did the threat persist, shout and ask, the God of my pastor, where are you? He said, you are going to see something that is more than man. Don't make that mistake, don't miss it. You will come out and escape. Nothing can be more fearful than the brother in Taraba State, Jalingo where they framed him up and said he was supplying bomb and ammunition explosive to terrorists and they said arrest him interview him and waste him they arrested him the police senior police officer took him to their police office and they started interviewing him and before they started he asked them he said i am a choosy i am a choosy i am a choosy who are you the senior police officer was saying, say, you are asking me why am I in my office? Before he could finish asking that question, two angels appeared in the picture and image of the SSS chief in Taraba State and chief security officer sitting side by side with the brother. And they warned the police officer, say, remove your hand in this matter. If you, want your, if you don't want your generation to finish. He was looking at them, there are faces he knows. And that was how that matter ended he was released. So, even if you think it's the general president and you are sensing danger, pastor say, declare where you are. This God that is served, he will appear and you are going to set free. I'd like us to clap unto God and appreciate him. Praise the Lord. We shall now rise to...